In this video, we're going to add one more field to our meta box, and then we're going to take a look at how to get that information back out and render it on the front end. I'm going to make a small text field, and I'm just going to grab this code right here, and then I'm going to paste it right below this one. And we're going to call this square footage. We have an optional field description, which I'm not going to use at all. An optional standard value, which I'm not going to use at all. And then we'll just call this square footage. And that's it. Just those three fields. Do file, save, and then we'll come back and look at our meta box. So we're going to say yes, there's a hot tub, and it is a 600 for square foot room, which is extremely large, but hey, you're on vacation. There. Now it's saved. So now how do we get that information back out on the front end? Well, first we're going to make a custom template. We want to figure out what template we're looking at right now and then make a new one. So I'm going to install a plugin called What Template File Am I Using? And you'll never guess what it does. And now I click this tab and it tells us that we're using the single.php template in the make folder. Now, ironically, the most complex part of this whole series is not going to be dealing with making custom post types, but rather simply making a template with this theme. Make is very, very flexible, but that means it can be a little complicated. Now, we have a custom post type called bnb underscore rooms. And to make a single template specifically for this custom post type, all we have to do is copy single.php to single dash custom post type slug.php, which is single dash bnb underscore rooms.php. So in my editor, I'm going to open go to themes make I'm going to open single.php there it is and now I'm simply going to save as single dash bnb underscore rooms dot php and hit save now if I reload you can see now it is using my new template. So now I could edit this template all day long and it wouldn't mess with any other single thing on the website, like a post or a page or whatever. So now let's take a look at that file. Here we have our header. It's going to look for post data. And right here it has get template part partials content dollar template type. So it's actually looking for another file called partials slash content and then optionally a content type. Otherwise it gets just content.php. So I'm going to change this to BNB rooms. So now it's looking for a file in the partials folder called content dash bnb underscore rooms dot php. So now we simply need to make that file. So I'm going to save this one. 
So now we're going to open partials content dash single dot php and immediately save as content dash bnb underscore rooms there now we have our template files this looks a little overwhelming but that's just because it's this theme your theme may not be like this and even with this theme we're only going to edit a very small part. Right here is our entry content. If there's a thumbnail, it shows it. Then if there's content, it shows it. And then if there's pagination, it shows it. So right under content, we're going to start printing our variables. Now, if we go back to the page for CMB2, and then we go back to the basic usage instructions. Down at the bottom, it'll show you how to display it. We're going to use the get post meta function. So I'm going to grab this code right here, actually, all of this code. and paste it right here in my template file. Except we're not going to call it text or anything like that. We have a hot tub. So we're going to do hot tub. And our variable name was hot tub. And then we'll echo. And we'll save this and print our page. And I've reloaded and I don't get anything. Let's take a look at why. I'm printing hot tub, hot tub, hot tub. And over here, it turns out my ID is actually hot tub. And that's no good. And so now. It should have forgotten that I said yes because now it's hot tub, whereas before it was hot tub. So we hit update. And now let's see what we get. We get a yes. So let's make it look a little better. We're going to do this properly so that it gets translated properly by the theme. There, now it says amenities, and then down here we will say echo hot tub. There we go. So now let's take a look at this line and see what it says. It says echo a paragraph tag and then join it to the words hot tub. But this double underscore means our theme it wants to make it translatable. Then we join hot tub to a colon with a space and we join that to our variable and we join that to our closing paragraph tag. So now let's take a look. Amenities, hot tub, yes. Okay. So now let's just copy this whole thing and tab that in.
So now I'm going to make sure I spelled square footage properly, and it looks like I did. So let me change hot tub to square footage there and there and there. And we type square footage there. We save. And there we have square footage, 600. But we don't know what 600 is, so we're just going to put an FT here. Now it's square feet. There you go. So let's review a little bit, because this got a little complicated. We created a template file called single-bnb underscore rooms.php. And the only thing we changed is we made it call a different template part from the normal single. And that is a file in the partials folder called content-bnb underscore rooms.php, which is here. And the only part of this file that we changed is we found where it's printing its main content, and underneath of it, we added the word amenities and our hot tub and the square footage. Reviewing our meta box here real quick, we have add action at the top calling our function. We created a prefix. And then with this function, we created our meta box called room information. And then with this function, we added a field called hot tub. It is a set of radio buttons. Then we added a small text field for square footage. And you can just go on adding these fields all day long if you want. You can go back to the field list and these are your options. You can just add fields all you want. If you choose a WYSIWYG type it makes it really easy to add a gallery and those can look really sharp. But at the end of the day, we created this entire system with the custom post type and the meta boxes with their fields in just over 100 lines of code. I'll make this code available to you so that you can use it and adapt it. Feel free to experiment with this code. It's a pretty short step from using something really simple like easy content types. And it's a lot easier than coding it all by hand. The code that this generates is really quite long and complex. But CMB2 makes it a lot easier and still provides a lot of power.